Hello, this is Hans van der Krast, Senior Lecturer at IHC Delft Institute for Water Education. In a previous video and webinar, I've showed how to use the raster calculator uh, to do map algebra for spatial analysis. In this video, I'm going to do the same, but I'll use other tools. Instead of the default raster calculator, I will use the raster calculator from the processing toolbox. And I will make a graphical model using the tool in the processing toolbox to create those. So the end user can then play around with it in an interface. So uh, this time we are going to use the raster calculator from the processing toolbox to uh, do the calculations with map algebra. So you find it under raster analysis. And then uh, the first thing is to filter out the houses. So this building layer has several classes and class number one is houses. I choose here the layers that I want to use to set the uh, extent and the projection, etc. that's necessary for map algebra. And here I choose the output name. I can choose different raster formats. And I call the output houses.tiff. And then I can run it. And I can go back to the parameters. Uh, everything stays the same, except that I now need the industry, which is uh, with pixels larger or equal to um, 3. And I keep the other things as they are. And I just need to change the file name. And I call this then industry. So boolean map with true for industry and false for not industry. I run it. Then I go back. And now we need uh, the roads. We know that the road maps road map has two classes, and uh, if it's larger than zero, no roads, then it's roads. So I call this one is roads, and I run it. The next one that we need is to calculate the well depth, and that's DTM minus groundwater level. Then we get the depth of the well. With reference to the surface level and I call it well depth for the rest I keep everything uh, as default I run so now we have a set of boolean uh, input layers that we uh, then need to calculate the proximity and the distance and I'm going to use in this case the graphical uh, modeler from QGIS I need to give the modeler a name so I call it accessible wells and you need to give it the group name for how it shows up in the toolbox, in the processing toolbox. So first I need to identify the inputs. So these are raster layers. The first one is uh, the one with the houses. And you see it puts these graphical blocks in there. The second one is the roads. Then the third one is industry. And then the fourth one is the well depth. And then we need to use some uh, processing tools. We find them under the tab algorithms. And we need to do some uh, proximity analysis that we didn't do yet. So I add the proximity. We change the description. So that's a uh, distance uh, from houses. Input layer is then houses, so it will be linked to that one. We use the georeferenced coordinates. You see these are the same uh, dialog fields that we have in the, in the normal tool. And there I uh, put 150 meters. And then true for the cells that are within 150 meters and zero for the other ones. I don't specify an output map because we're still going to use that output. Then uh, distance to the roads. And the input layer is then roads. Use georeferenced coordinates. And again, 150 meters. And true and false. True when it's within the 150 meters and false when it's further. So also better to change this to distance to the houses. Next, we need proximity also for the industry. So distance from industry. We want to be uh, 300 meters or further. And we, uh, like previously, can't do that directly in this tool. So we calculate only all the 
distances in your reference coordinate so we have it in meters simply click OK and there it is the next step is to use the raster calculator to calculate a few more things that we need to calculate so change the description more than 300 meters from industry it's also the title of that little block that it will create so that's always nice and if we refer to that then we'll see that so like here the distance from industry should be larger or equal than 300 And I choose the input layer as uh, the reference for uh, cell size and extent, etc. And then I click OK. And you see it's automatically linked because we specify the input as the output from the distance from industry. There's another one. And the well depth should be uh, less than 40 meters. We choose a reference, normally the output from the one that you use here as an input. Okay, they're linked. So you see we still have to change the name, raster calculator is a default name and uh, if you want to refer to that it's better to give it a less generic name. So wells less than 40 meters. Okay, and now we can uh, use the raster calculator to do some Boolean uh, logic there. So we add all those results. Make sure that you choose the right one. And that one, of course. And choose the reference layers. Just choose all the inputs that I used. And there it is. Because it's an output, I also need to uh, define the name of the field of the output layer. Call it accessible wells. Okay, and that green block is then the output, the end result. There's a few more things that we can do. We can use uh, variables for um, the distance criteria. So let's make one distance to houses. It's a number parameter and a minimum value of zero and a maximum of 2000 with a default of 150. And you see it's added as a yellow block because it's an input. You can drag it somewhere convenient. And then I can edit the one that uses that value and I choose here a model input and then I can choose distance to houses and it will use then that value as a default. Do the same for the roads. And also change that then to a model input. These are two roads and then they are linked. Let's save the model. It automatically goes somewhere in your uh, profile. And let's run the model. So we see here uh, the dialog and I can fill in the layers that we need. 
See the default values there, and then I can calculate the accessible wells. And there it is, we can style it. We see the same result as uh, what we had in the other approach, but now it's more automated. So if the end user has QGIS, you can use this tool and simply fill in all the layers and play around with the criteria. Let's change. Let's create one with a 100 meter distance to houses and only 50 meters from the roads. Paste the style. You can even include the styling in the graphical modeler. And there we see uh, that now it's reduced to two suitable wells instead of three. So I hope this was useful. Um, there are more nice videos on the YouTube channel, so please subscribe if you want to see more. For more free materials, you can go to IHG Delft uh, Open Courseware for GIS at gisopencourseware.org.